everyone, this is Koala. Welcome back to my channel. I hope your week has been great so far. And for this week's video, I will continue my review for Louis Vuitton collections. As many of you who already watched my channel, you know that I've been doing my reviews for Louis Vuitton bags for a couple weeks. After pausing for one session last week, actually, I was showing my new Cinderella shoes from Jimmy Choo. So for those who are really obsessed about the Jimmy Choo's crystal Cinderella shoes, feel free to check out my past video. And if you're new to my channel, welcome to Kola's Fashion World. I do a lot of fashion hauls and luxury reviews around handbags, small accessories, leather goods, premium designer shoes, skincare, OOTD, and many more to come. So if you're really interested in luxury fashion, skincare, and shoes, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss my weekly updates. All right, so let's get started for today. As I said, I will return to my Louis Vuitton review. So what I'm gonna bring you this week is this cute guy, da da. So this is the green, the giant monogram of the Pochet Kiragami collection. I really love this color because I actually got it last year and I haven't got a chance to use it, but I feel like I should really give you an honest review, especially, um, you know, fall is coming up. I think this kind of green color is really saturated for the weather and uh, the green kind of hint matches a lot of like a warm color clothes as well. So let's check out the structure first. And you know that the Pochet Kiragami collection, they are actually three pieces. I'm just pulling them out. So this is like a limited edition. So the three pieces are all in different colors. That's so precious. I really adore the combination of the colors and it are really matching a lot of your clothes um, and for different occasions. So it's super cool. So the biggest one is the green color. It's in a giant monogram, so it's really cool. And then, oh, by the way, to describe the color better, I think this is like a, the matcha color, right? The green tea color. So it's a super soft. And the smallest one is a pretty classic black and white. You can see it's pretty classic. There's nothing wrong with it. And this color would go with anything. Black and white, period. And the middle guy is, I would say this is a beige color with the white monogram on. And this color has been a very classic one that goes into a lot of your bigger purses and you won't go around with any season of this color. So that makes the color combination of this limited edition so good. I love them. All right, so after reviewing the colors, let's get into the structure. And the structure of the three pieces are very similar. I would say they're exactly the same. Envelopes, right? So let's just look at the biggest one. That's just like a big pouch. I mean, all of these are pouches, right? They're envelope pouches. So um, there's nothing really specific about the structure. I mean, it's just a envelope shaped pouch. This is a flap. Uh, did it got a like chip on? So it's really convenient. And um, I think the most important thing that we wanted to know is what I'm gonna be doing next looking into what can we put in. That's very important, right? So let's get started with first thing first, cell phone. Cell phone goes inside, this is my iPhone X. So it's my personal phone. Let's look at it inside. Oh my God, there's still a lot of space. Let's continue. This is my little wallet. And this is my lipstick. I don't know what else I'm gonna put it in. Uh, I have three stuff here already. Probably you can see that, you know, on this site, it's still quite empty. So I bet you can definitely put your sunglasses with your pouch. This is from Fendi. I've been using this to test a lot of the capacity of my bags in the past half a year. So that's been a golden standard. So, it can definitely get in fairly easy. 
and there's still a lot of space. So you can definitely put your keys, your car keys, home keys, etc. I don't have it here, so I'm not going to show you. Close it up. That's it. It's still pretty slim, right? Not really bulky. So I like this collar, and I think if you just want to wear this as a clutch, you know, in your hand, I think that's perfectly fine. I mean, it serves as a clutch, I believe, and you can definitely use this in your bigger purses or even put into your luggages, whatever you want. Very flexible, right? And I, I saw some people are actually using this as a crossbody if you have a chain that you want to kind of attach onto this envelope part. I think that's perfectly fine, but I just don't want to destroy the little canvas in sight. So, uh, but that's an option. So, you know, using this as a clutch, it's very easy, right? And this perfect size that fits everything you need, essentially if you're going for a date or if you're just going out for a walk, you know, just carry something with you or even walk your dogs. All right, so let's check the next one, which is the middle guy. So the middle guy, I wanted to give you a comparison so you can better see the size. I'm gonna use my phone for example. So this is iPhone X I just said. Look at the size of this two piece. It's not that big, right? So let's see if that fits my cell phone. I think it will definitely will. Yeah, it fits my phone. Oh my God, that's perfect. You know, if you have a clutch or a little pouch that fits your phone and it's pretty loose inside and I have my phone case on. So if you have a bigger phone, I bet it's gonna be fine, but I just don't have it right here. So let's see if I can put my lipstick in as well. Show you this We. How are you gonna put it in? Purple like this? Oops. It closes up magically. Oh my God. I totally didn't expect this, but it happened, right? You have your lipstick, you have your phone. And the thing, the next thing is that you wanna make sure you put your wallet where if you just have a little card case or card holder, I think that would be fine or just put some cards into this little pouch and you don't have to carry a extra wallet or something. So that's very classic. Ooh, such a amazing design from size. They know that girls always want to put their phone in. So that's important. All right, so if you want to use this as a clutch, you know, I think it works as well. As I said earlier, this color, the beige color with the white monogram, that goes with anything. Even for formal occasions, I think you can use this color for sure. You know, this is just a color and the size that I just walked a little further so you can see how it looks like when I carry it. All right, let's check out the last one. So the last one is the smallest guy. Definitely you can't put your phone there. Here's a comparison, the phone See, that's much smaller. You definitely can't just put your phone there. But this is something a lot of people are saying you can use as a key pouch. Yes, yeah, so you can put your keys there um, if you don't have a lot of keys. Definitely. Do not put a keychain because this is such a small thing. And secondly, you can use this as a coin purse. I mean, coin purse, I think this is a perfect size for a coin purse, right? But I use this for two functions. First. I use this as my iPod case. Here's my iPod. Put it in. That is so cute. Oh my God, that's so adorable. Just put it in your little purse somewhere, you know. You take it out and you open it up. That's your AirPod. That's so cute. And the other way that I like to use is as a cart holder. Let me use this Costco card, for example. Goes in very easily. You can see there are a lot of space and you can put, I don't know, maybe 10 cards as much as you need. 
and probably you don't need that much cards. But that is what I think you can do with this little guy. All right, that's it for the three pieces. What do you think? Which is your favorite piece? I mean, I love all of them because they're so cute and they're so useful, right? That's what I wanted to review for today. I hope you find it to be very helpful. And again, this is Kola. Thank you so much for watching my video and coming to my channel. If you have anything specifically that you want me to review on or you want me to provide some recommendations, feel free to leave a comment and I will help you as much as I can. And I will see you next week. Bye.